Alright, hello, welcome Kimmy Cakes and everybody else who ever wants to watch this quick tutorial on how to uh, implement uh, supply crates. I'm going to try to make it quick so the video is not going to be too long and boring. Alright, so let's start off. First, you're going to need a, a supply crate spawning volume. So at the top here, at the most, you're just going to type supply, supply, space, empty space, crate, and then you can see it's spawn creating volume. We're going to scale that one up to the size of our map, so let's, this should be about right, and then scale it in the height, make sure it's high enough. Let's quickly check its position, oh, it can actually be a little bit bigger, that's what she said. Um, so, this should be fine. What this supply crate spawning volume does, it is it's gonna indicate what you can all spawn or what it should spawn and where it should spawn and um, yeah it's just a manager you can see also see it as a manager okay so next thing we're gonna need our server side point so you're just gonna type server here and you can already see it server side point huge you're gonna take that one drag it onto your map boom done and these are basically the points where the supply crates are going to spawn. So if you want multiple, just copy pasta those rows and uh, put them all over your map. Uh, you can see them here in the scene outliner. All right, but that's basically all that we need. Um, now we're going to go back to the supply crate spawning volume. We're going to add some, um, or we're going to have to change some values. So first of all, I'm going to uh, change these values here that we can see. So the max number of crates, let me quickly drag this over so we can read all these lines. Max number of crates, put that on one, and that is for each volume that you create. On the main map, there's tons of volumes because in this spawning volume, you're also going to um, you're gonna specify which type of uh, drops you want to have. So let's say for this spawning volume, we only want the level 3 and the level 15 to spawn. But we could also create a new volume outside of this one uh, where we only spawn the 60 drop like the only drop that's going to be in there is going to be the 60 drop so you can specify that here anyway max number of crates within this volume it's gonna be one I'm taking the settings from the main map here so yeah I would just suggest copying it because it works uh, delay before the first crate is gonna be 30 seconds maximum delay 90 uh, zone volume max number of NPC buffer keep that on 5 interval between crate spawns, put that on 60. Max interval is going to be. Oh, wait, I wrote 30. I'm an idiot. So make that 60. Make the max interval 150. Then we're going to get interval between max crate spawns 60 again. Then 180 for the ma for the max. Minimal crate distance from the player. It's going to be 1,000 units. Then the minimal crate distance from a structure is going to be 8,000. So make sure to not. Like if you see. Oh, wait, there's a spawn point around my base don't build too close to it because you're gonna ruin it um, and the no valid recheck spawn interval set that on 5 and then the minimal time between a crate 1800 that's all those settings now we're actually going to create the the links towards the spawn points so the two spawn the two server side points we created you're gonna create two elements first one you're just gonna search for server side point huge boom uh, go for the second one, server site point huge, and we got them both. I don't know if you can also use empties for this. The main map uses these things. It's probably because uh, a player is not able to modify the settings uh, at that point, so that's probably why they do it. That the points are server side and not client side. All right, so we got that set up. You don't need to change anything about those. Uh, it's all fine. Um, now we're gonna create the supply crate enter the supply crate entries you're gonna need two for each um, supply crate that you want to drop so let's say we're gonna at the level 3 and the level 15 so we're gonna have to, or so we're gonna need four uh, elements so on the first one we're gonna go for you can actually see the supply crates right here uh, supply crate 3 and then on the second one you're gonna have to add the supply crate 3 double so we already got that set up and then here create enemy spawn entries that is what you were talking about on your reddit post you could only find the supply crate 3 and 15 it's probably because at the higher levels you just want to spawn let's say a rex or you're gonna go with some uh, 
cave seven flyer so there's going to be bats all around your spawn um monster island spawns so there's going to be uh, what what's all on monster island raptors uh carnos scorpions everything the whole shebang so that's a free will you do not have to do that it's not mandatory uh you can leave it open um and then here for this one let's take the level 15 and then the level 15 double and that's about it that's all you need to spawn your uh, supply crates so hope you enjoyed this uh, and it was a learnful process probably because you haven't seen it before if you want to check how they did it on the on the big island just go all the way here to the bottom and just before you hit the um, the island itself you can go back a few and I believe it here you see persistent gameplay sublevel supply drops you can also for example here check the dino spawns how they did them all uh, the biomes uh, and I don't actually know what the regular persistent sublevel is but if you want to check some out of that stuff I would suggest just opening those maps they're not too big the island is probably the biggest level of it all um, so if you wonder how they did anything just check it over there works really great um, anyway thanks for your time see you